So I have this HR28 from 2019. It does have some problems with the canvas. So let's have a look. I switch the machine on. And I have the engine symbol, the motor symbol and the red or orange X on the top right corner. I will go to error codes and it's showing me the errors 0 to CB000, 01C4000, 01C5000. So I will have a look on the error codes, what they, what they mean and uh, I will go from there. So I got the service manual from Nifty website and uh, what I will try to see if I can find those error codes in the, in the in the manual at the bottom of the manual normally there is an error codes there let me see if I can just find them here so, here we go some some error codes all right error code so the error codes I did have. 01C4 Let me look for this. So 01 general error. Um, let me see if I can just find that 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 a 0 1 B 0 1 C here we go. So this is the error code 0 1 C4. There is no canvas communication with the motor controller. Okay. So the one error code saying there's no communication with the motor controller. The next one was 01C5. So this one here. So that error code is saying there is no communication with the engine control. So engine control uh, module and uh, motor controller, they actually are very close to each other and uh, they are connected into the canvas system through the same line. So you have uh, the can high and can low wires going from the main control box and that goes into engine box and that's how they are connected. Um, the next fault code was, um, what was the next fault code? Zero two CB. So the next fault code was zero two B two CB. There we go. This one here. Okay. So this is zero two CB. There is no canvas communication with the chassis PLC. All right. So they have no communication with the two devices, with the three devices. So okay. So we know the problem is with the canvas. So let's have a look closer into wiring and where the problem could be. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a resistance test just to confirm the connection into termination on both ends. All right, let's see from there. So I have opened my box, the main box is right here. And what I have here, the Canon high and can low wire. So can high, these two top terminals, number 11 and 12. And my can low wires, is the terminal 13 and 14. I will switch the machine off, so the power off completely, and I will try to measure resistance here. So what I'm expecting to see, I am expecting to see about 60 ohms between can high and can low. Okay, so I think I will measure between number 10 and 9. Number 10 and 9 is going to give me it should give me some reading. How can that be? So I cannot see any resistance in there. So if I go... Yeah. Look, so I'm measuring resistance between can high and can low and I have 20 mega ohms. So I have no termination at all. Oh, that's strange. Very strange. So let's put this into can high. So and this into can low. Or there is a voltage present on the canvas line. So here I have this battery unit, and this 
device that is checking the batteries and is permanently connected onto battery bank and because it's permanently connected it's always transmitting data on the canvas so it's, it's, it's putting voltage up and with the voltage being on the canvas I'm not able to measure resistance so now I disconnect that unit and um, I have my resistance meter connected on the canvas and it's reading 60 ohms okay so there's no problem with the connections between between this part and the motor controller or the sand, other side of the machine and the cage so the cage motor control and this end is connected all together no problems with that okay so let's try to switch the machine on and what I'm looking here for this lights to go off if this light goes off that means the power supply was supplied into unit and it dropped out straight away So that's which is set to run. It's fine. So for some reason, it's failing on a canvas side. That's how it works. Okay. So here at the bottom, we have this plug. It's not a. Everything looks okay with this plug here. So the controller seems to be okay. No problems here. Let's try to restart. I think what I'm gonna do now, because it keeps coming up with this, and what I will try to do, I will try to switch off the motor controller or isolate the motor controller from the canvas, okay? The reason why, because when we get a power supply we are enabling the motor controller for the short time and that initial start on a motor controller may cause a problems here let's try again let's see if those lights gonna stay off or they're gonna come back on same no problems all right same thing again And the same error codes. Okay. So now, so we know the motor controller is not affecting this. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna try to look inside the chassis just to make sure that. Um, the chassis node or chassis PLC is okay there because we have the PLC inside there and one of the errors is that that PLC is off the canvas as well so the motor controller engine node and that PLC those three devices okay let me see if the PLC goes That's turn red. Turns red. Okay, so yeah, let's do that way. I will see what's going on with the chassis PLC. And uh, it's maybe not a problem with the diesel box or with the motor controllers. Maybe the problem with the chassis PLC and that is affecting the rest of the canvas. So let's try that. Okay, so here inside the chassis, I removed the cover off. I have this PLC on the side wall over there and it's flashing red you can see okay so that PLC is flashing red that's good because that means it's getting the power supply into it um, it's getting the power supply and it's gone red because it's a communication error and it's a safety device so it's gone into fail safe now so I think what I will do now, I will just check on the power supply on the 12 volt battery to diesel side. So maybe that could explain something with the missing components on the engine side. 
and then we go to check the wiring the canvas wires inside this chassis here there is a plug over there where your canvas wires comes in for the PLC so I think what I'll do I'll measure resistance inside the chassis just to make sure that it's connected on the rest of, onto the rest of the system I will try to measure resistance on the chassis PLC okay the chassis PLC has uh, four canvas connections but the, the can high and can low they are linked together so the can high pins are number 14 and number 26 and the can low pins are 32 and 25 so I will measure between maybe 25 and 26 so the so resistance between 25 and 26 should be 60 ohms okay I measured the resistance in the main box previously and uh, we know that's a 60 ohms resistance in the main box and that's what we should have we have a motor controller termination uh, at 120 ohms and uh, another ter terminator resistor is at uh, at the cage that's 120 ohms as well so makes it 60 so we know that most likely engine uh, plc and uh, is connected the engine plc is connected to the canvas as well we do get errors for the, this both power trays but i think that's more related to the safety issues on the canvas and the plc is going red so I, i'm not investigating on the engine uh, PLC and the motor controller for now, but I will concentrate on the chassis PLC and uh, Because the chassis PLC if you look here it shows it goes Can high and can low two wires and they go into connector and they go through the rotator swivel joint and Comes out from the swivel joint through another connector and then goes into the main box. So I think This is a problem somewhere in line on those connectors so because we know the power supply is on the, on the chassis PLC because it's flashing red. So we do get a power supply, it comes on, but it's not communicating. Okay, so let's try. Let's try to measure resistance. And uh, if all the wire, wires are good and everything is okay with the wiring, I shouldn't have a 60 ohms. If there is a problem with that, then I will have a, I will have a possibly less or much more resistance. So let's go from there. Okay, so I got my plug here, and my red probe is in a pin 25, okay, and I will put my black meter on to pin 26. So my red one is on to 25, and uh, because this, this is the pin number... 20 so so this is the 20 21 22 23 24 25 this one here and 26 so can high can low so look so now 25 26 i have resistance of 10 kilo ohms okay so 10 kilo ohms that means that plc is not connected onto the canvas into the main box okay so what i will do now i will try to measure resistance and to find out which line is not connected so i still have my uh, red wire on a pin 25 and what i'm measuring now just on a can high so i still have nine kilo ohms and uh, on a can low i still have nine kilo ohms okay so that's pin 25 so the pin 25 I think is not connected, so I will move this into pin 26, that's my pin 26, okay, and uh, let me get my, so pin 26, and now we go on the canvas again, kind of high, you see, 0.3, and if I go kind of low, 60. So I have uh, the can high. So pin 26 is a can high. And just to confirm on a schematic, the pin 26 is a can high, yeah, right here. And a pin 25 is a can low. So the can high, so I measure the resistance between pin 26 and, and the can high. Okay, so the can high in the box and I had a 
close to zero so it's completely fine and it's connected but uh, the can low is missing so we don't have a can low connection to the into the main box okay so what I will do now I will possibly try to look into this plugs okay I'm just hoping it's a problem with the plug and not with the swivel joint itself so first thing I will look inside this plug the one inside the chassis and the next plug is gonna be the outlet from from outlet from the swivel joint and that plug is at the base control box so yeah we'll check out the, on the plugs and see from there but the fact is that we don't have a can low connection so that's a good find I think so we know the problem is here and I just need to find out why why we lost the connection and uh, we can fix the machine that way yeah, so what I done, I'm doing now, I'm just measuring resistance between can low and the pin 25 inside the chassis. And uh, what I will do, I will move the wire at the back of this box. So at the back of this box, there is a wire. Yeah, this one here. It says rotator, okay. So th this wire here is my feed from rotator into the main box okay so I move the wire around just to see if we can see different reading and resistance and then we can get it changed so I think I have to disconnect this plug so we can confirm if there are any issues with it Okay, so this is the sort of plug we have. Yeah. And uh, it's connecting to rotator. So those pins are looking good. Yeah, the pins looks to good. It looks to be okay. On this end. Just wondering if there is a problem with that cable somewhere more inside. And hopefully not. Okay, and that's where the rotator is. So if you don't know where the rotator, that's the one in there. Yeah. Okay. So what I need to make sure the connection is as it should be on this wire. I just removed the core number four from the swivel joint. This is the core number four wire and I fit this my made up bypass wire okay because I couldn't measure resistance between the core number four on this end and the core number four inside the chassis so what I did there I removed the core number four and here as well I removed that's my core number four and I fit my bypass wire into core number four so what I will do now I will connect the plugs back up on the behind the base box and uh, inside the chassis and I will measure resistance on this plug again just to confirm I'm reading 60 ohms and I will test the machine just to prove that's that's a fix okay so connected to all the plugs back up and measuring resistance between 25 and 26 as before so before I had 9 kilo ohms and now we have 60 ohms all right so at 60 ohms that means we are connected to the box now okay so what's left to do is to connect this plug onto PLC and try to start the machine up. So let's try, let's try. So always the bottom first, then top. Okay, so the PLC is connected. Uh, let's power up the machine. <clears throat> Right, so that sounded really good. So the motor controller kicked in. So we have one error and the battery showing is zero. And possibly everyone can guess what that error is. So if you go into, oh, come on. Oh, let me take my gloves off. If you go into error codes, that's 01C1, okay? So if you look in the manual, you possibly will find that error code means the device is not connected so I think 
let's plug this on okay so we have no more error codes let's push the green button yeah motor runs okay so I think the problem is actually with that swivel joint so what I will do I will go up on the links a bit I will take the top cover of the connector on that swivel joint and hopefully you can find something there if not then possibly that needs to be replaced and as you can guess it's not the easiest job to do because it's located right there so that's the device just remove the cover from the swivel joint so you gone up on the secondary boom and there is a that rotator here inside and as you can see I think that explains why we have the problems with the contact okay a lot of water in it so I don't have a good connection on that number four so I um, think we may gonna have to end up we may gonna end up replacing just the top or possibly we have to go with the full new assembly which are all the hydraulics together so I think that's for now so the problem is here definitely my bypass wire is here I will leave that on so it's, the machine can be moved around until it's fixed